some of you guys complain about riding your motorcycle in the summertime you know when it's really hot and humid and you don't want to wear all that gear and uh, you know some of you guys out there start squidding not wearing gear no helmet no jacket or nothing because you don't want to get hot out here riding but in this video I'm gonna tell you how to stay cool riding your motorcycle but yet be able to wear proper gear to keep you safe out here and keep you from having a real effed up date let's go for a ride watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continually video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through first off I gotta attach my tether to my airbag vest here if you want to get this airbag vest to help keep you safe out here on the streets I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video also to this awesome lightweight carbon helmet with true mirror shield pick that up links to all my stuff in the description and comment section of my videos but I'm gonna tell you right off the bat definitely get you a water bladder to carry in your backpack so you can drink some water anytime you want definitely do not ride out here without in a you know dead of summer out here when it's you know burning hot out here and not have any water in your backpack uh, that this way you can anytime you want to you can pop this in your mouth drink some water and you're good you don't want to dehydrate out here on your bike man <laughs> it could set you up for a real effed up day I have a link to the bladder that I have like I said links to all my gear that I mentioned in this video in the description and comment section of this video let's get out of here though uh, I've been where I'll tell you this CE armor jacket that I'm currently wearing under this airbag vest I've had this CE armor jacket since 2012 this jacket flows so much air it feels so good man it feels like I, I don't have anything on it's crazy I tell you I've had a lot of gear over the years I've had a lot of different leather jackets textile jackets I've had uh, other sea armor jacks. I've, I've had a lot of different gear over the years man since 2000 and what 11 10 or something like that And I will tell you this thing is absolutely legit man. It keeps the uh, the gear the uh, sea armor in place and uh, It has been crash tested by other people. You can look at other reviews like on Amazon uh, Like I said link in the description and comment section of the video where to get this and uh, the guy on there, he claims that it, it saved him from a lot of damage. Now, the risk with this jacket is that because of these the C armor uh, gear here, the C armor protective gear, uh, if you go down with this jacket only, say you don't have like this vest right here, which has like an abrasion resistant type material in here that would, and obviously if I go over the bike on this, the airbag vest is going to blow up. And it's going to help keep me. It's going to slide, but it's not going to slide as much as these DC uh, C armor panels will. And uh, so that's something. That's why I recommend this jacket for just cruising out here on the streets. Maybe, you know, highway, you'd probably be all right. But uh, like I said, triple digit speeds, you probably want to have on full leathers. But you should be at the track in full leathers anyhow. Another, uh, and by the way, with this airbag vest and this jacket oh man I'm, I'm feeling oh, it feels like I got an air condition all around me feels good but as far as pants I wear textile pants in the summer but I find that the textile pants which has padding on the hips which you want so if you ever go down it's gonna help cushion the blow and I tell you that's you know when you go down on a bike and a lot of people out here you see that don't wear gear it's because not you know they never went down on their bike before I'll tell you that right now <laughs> because if they get road rash and they get scarred for life and other damage that they have believe me a lot of them stop riding the motorcycle though and they blame it on the motorcycle and say motorcycles are dangerous no 
you're dangerous <laughs> for not wearing gear and, and not having the proper skills to ride out here too but yeah these textile pants they have uh vents in them man it flows ton of air now i do have perforated leather pants uh but they they're they're pretty good but that you will burn up on really hot days still uh but so the textile pants really help big time also for boots i got the cd uh boots here that have that are perforated and i wear these all year round and it flows a ton of air but in the winter time when it's really cold or on cold days i wear thick socks and i'll be fine like i said i wear it year round uh definitely perforated boots in the summertime where it flows a good amount of air uh, so that way you don't have that funky feet <laughs> soggy feet and funky feet when you get home but also i'll tell you guys a good helm a helmet that flows a good amount of air is ideal it's key and on hot days man like this helmet i'll tell you i love this helmet it's super lightweight man it's like three pounds dude it's like a uh, carbon fiber and it flows the perfect amount of air fantastic air all around my head man very comfortable helmet and uh and also my dual sport helmet that i have by the way that i wear do you see me wearing on my yz that flows a ton of air too feels really good i tell you, you definitely want to keep that sun out of your eyes and your face because that could really tire you and make your eyes sweat and everything it's key to have one of these mirror shields or a tinted shield it works good but you have to be you can't don't ride at night with a tinted shield what i do if i'm out at, at night time what i'll do is i'll flip the shield up and i'll put on some clear goggles uh goggle glasses that i have uh but generally i try not to ride at night anyhow uh also shorty gloves you see me wearing these on warm hot days because you know even if i'm wearing my leather jacket the shorty gloves will allow air to flow in the cuffs of my jacket up so the air flows all through my jacket as where the gauntlet gloves will cover the jacket and it'll keep airflow from coming into your jacket now a lot of you guys will say cycle cruise that you need you know excellent hand protection you should be wearing full gauntlet gloves i will tell you guys i went down with some five dollar walmart mountain biking gloves on that chinese scooter <laughs> and it held and kept my hands just fine so you will be if you're out here just cruising like i'm doing out here on the highway and doing no more than 65 and you're cruising around on the streets shorty gloves will be fine most likely you know what i'm saying the gauntlet gloves are really more uh, designed for track more than anything or you're doing high speeds out here on the streets like a fool hyper boost on <laughs> you know yeah you want to have some gauntlet gloves you're just cruising around here you'll be fine with some shorty gloves man with my current setup like this guys i can ride in 100 degree plus temperatures high humidity i'm fine this jacket is key though this c armor jacket is amazing man it comes in high vis too and it's inexpensive for those of you cheap busters out there they don't want to spend a lot of money on gear which in my opinion you can't put a price on your safety guys so hopefully these tips will help you guys out for those of you guys like i said want to get my gear airbag vest helmet all the stuff i mentioned uh cameras backpacks all my stuff i always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and that's links to all my stuff Big thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.